and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And first spirit. On the day of his baptism, Giuseppe was welcomed into the church, given new life in Christ, and grew through the garment of salvation. Today we give the body of our brother and surround him with the church prayer. We commend our brother Giuseppe to the mercy of God and pray that the promise made to him in baptism will be fulfilled. reading 
from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, if God is for us, who can be against? He did not spare his own son, but handed him over to us all. He or, will not see, also give us everything else along with him. Who will bring a charge against God? It is God who acquits us. Who will condemn? It is Christ who died, rather was raised. Who also is at the right hand of God? Who indeed intercedes for us? What will separate us from the love of Christ? Will anguish or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or the sword? No, in all these things we conquer overwhelmingly through him who loved us. For I'm convinced that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities, no present things, no future things, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature will be able to separate us from the love of God in Jesus Christ our Lord. The word of the Lord. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leaves me beside still waters. He restores my soul. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He leaves me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. You prepare a table before me, in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Please stand for the gospel. And my blood is true drink. 
whoever is my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me and I in them. Just as the living Father said to me, and I live because of the Father, so whoever is me will live because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Not like that which your ancestors ate and they died, but the one who eats this bread will live forever. Parola del Signore, gloria a te, o Cristo. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, we are gathered in the church, the temple of God, where Giuseppe came to pray his church and our church. When he came to receive the body and blood of Jesus Christ, whenever we participate, let us make sure that we receive the Eucharist, because that's the banquet prepared by Jesus in a worthy way, of course, asking God forgiveness for sins, and whenever there is need, and receive in a worthy way the body and blood of Christ. Why? Because Jesus says, Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life. And I will raise them up on the last day. For my flesh is true food and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me and I in them. Remember, as really said, Jesus will come and take us to the place where he is to be within him. And this is made possible through receiving Jesus in the Eucharist. When we receive Jesus, we assimilate his teachings, his values, and we try to live that. Then, no one can separate us, as we listen to the first reading, as St. Paul said, can separate us from the love of God through Jesus Christ. Because we abide in God. This is the dynamism. This is the experience that we have through the Eucharist. And Jesus Christ offered his own body, his own life sacrifice on the cross for us. To redeem us, to give us true life. This the faith, this confidence, this friendship that Giuseppe had led him with Jesus, led him to live as a good father, as a bad grandfather, a good community member. As you all remember yesterday, you will be remembering after Mass, the moment of the Holy Words. How courageously he went through all life experiences. This ground, the faith that we all hope, we all live, is not human power. It is from God's power. God's Spirit leading us because we trust Him. Therefore, with a grateful heart for with all memories that you said they share with us, experience share with us, time and energy. Even to all of you in a special way, family members, we thank God for the life of you say. We accept this reality that we all must pass from this world and end up with God in eternal life. Therefore, we entrust you say to the mercy of God that God may forgive his all sins and lead him We will join that company of saints and angels in God's presence. We continue with this trust and faith in God our journey. May our brother said it, rest in peace. Amen. Santa Maria Coretti, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us.
pray for our needs in this world, please come for the prayer of the faithful and all of you stand if you can. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus our Savior has gone before us and prepared a place for us in our Father's house. We now place our trust in Him and say, Lord, hear our prayer. In baptism, Giuseppe received the light of Christ, scattered the darkness, and lead him over the waters of death. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Our brother Giuseppe was nourished at the table of the Savior. Welcome him into the halls of heavenly banquet. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Many friends and families and members of our families have gone before us and await the kingdom. Grant them an everlasting home with your Son. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Those who trust in the Lord now sleep in the Lord. Give refreshment, rest, and peace to all whose faith is known to you alone. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The family and friends of Giuseppe who seek, con who seek consolation and comfort, heal their pain and dispel the darkness and doubt that comes from grief. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We are assembled here in faith and confidence to pray for our brother Giuseppe, strengthen our hope so that we may live in expectation of your son's coming. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the intentions that we hold in silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, giver of peace and healer of souls, hear the prayers of the Redeemer, Jesus Christ, and the voices of your people, whose lives were purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Forgive the sins of all who sleep in Christ and grant them a place in the kingdom. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated.
as we humbly present to you the sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant Giuseppe. We beseech your mercy that he who did not doubt your son to be a loving Savior may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Il Signore sia con voi. In alto i nostri cuori. E rendiamo grazie al Signore, nostro Dio. È veramente cosa buona e giusta renderti grazie per la tua immensa misericordia di onipotente e eterna gloria. La morte è comune e verità di tutti gli uomini, ma per un dono misterioso del tuo amore, Cristo con la sua vittoria ci redime dalla morte e ci richiama con sé a vita nuova. E noi, con tutti gli angeli del cielo, ti siamo a te il nostro canto e proclamiamo insieme la tua gloria. Santo, 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 il Signore Dio dell'universo, i cieli e la terra sono pieni della tua gloria. Osana l'alto dei cieli, benedetto colui che viene nel nome del Signore. Osana l'alto dei cieli. Please kneel down if you can. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the beautiful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take it, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the talents and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the talents of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Celebrando il memoriale della morte e risurrezione del tuo figlio, ti offriamo, Padre, il pane della vita e il calice della salvezza, e ti rendiamo grazie per averci ammessi nella tua presenza a compiere il servizio sacerdotale. Ti preghiamo umilmente per la comunione al corpo e al sangue di Cristo, lo Spirito Santo ci riunisca in un solo corpo. Ricordati, Padre, della tua Chiesa diffusa su tutta la terra. Rende la perfetta dell'amore in unione con il nostro Papa Francesco, il nostro Arcivescovo Richard e tutto l'ordine sacerdotale. Ricordati del nostro fratello Giuseppe che oggi è chiamato a te. Da questa vita e come per il battesimo l'hai unito alla morte di Cristo, tuo figlio, così rende lo partecipe della sua risurrezione. Ricordati dei nostri fratelli che si sono addormentati nella speranza della risurrezione e di tutti i defunti che si affidano alla tua clemenza, a mettere potere la luce del tuo volto. Di noi tutti abbi misericordia, dona di avere parte alla vita eterna, insieme con la Beata Maria, Vergine e Madre di Dio, San Giuseppe, suo sposo. 
con gli apostoli, Santa Maria Preti, Beato Luigi Maria Monti e tutti i santi che in ogni tempo ti furono graditi. E Gesù Cristo, tuo figlio, canteremo la tua gloria. Through him and with him and in him, our God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we are there to say, let us say together, Our Father, who art in heaven, our will be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, for earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of the church, and we graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Yeah. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only says the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Spread the sila kuche parpei kuri palsani pache. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. Be your saints forever, for you are merciful. Preghiamo, let us pray. Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of His body food for the journey, mercifully grant that, strengthened by it, our brother Giuseppe may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our brother Giuseppe. May our May our farewell express our affection for him. May he ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully meet him again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. Let us pray in silence. Preghiamo in silencio. In baptism, Giuseppe shared the death and the resurrection of Christ. May he be welcomed into the glory of eternal life. Merciful Lord, turn toward us 
and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our brother forever and ever. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, may every mark of affection and every gesture of friendship that you give to others be a sign of God's peace for you. In peace, let us take your brother to save it, to his place of rest. Please be seated.
He was never a person to show emotion, but his actions spoke louder than words. We always knew how much he loved each of us and how proud he was of the people we had become. Even though in these last few months he was exhausted from fighting the biggest battle of his life, it was still so important for him to do little things for us so that we knew how much he loved us. Like how we spent nearly all of November getting all the supplies needed to have one of his cousins make me sausages, which included convincing my compadre to follow him in a separate vehicle to three different Costco's to get just the right meat. Or secretly getting Kamadi Cam to make nearly 50 cannolis for Gino's most recent birthday, where there was only the six of them in the house. They were eating those pastries for almost a week. And Anthony had mentioned how much he loved a few things, so Dad made a few special trips to Shore Park for deliveries that included gallons of wine vinegar, a few sausages, and of course, some of the cannolis. For all of his wonderful traits, the one thing my dad was not was a handyman. I can't count the number of times that we would hear some sort of colorful language coming from him when he was trying to fix something. From the window that he needed in the shed where he cut the hole too big, to the holes that are still in the black back closet because he had to fix a leak, or to the unintended ceiling renovation in the bathroom. We loved his enthusiasm, but oftentimes he ended up hiring someone to finally fix when he started. These last 15 months defined every trait that my dad embodied throughout his life. His stubbornness, devotion to his family, determination, and strong will drove him to maximize the amount of time he had left with us. We knew him as a wonderful, loving husband, father, brother, nono, and uncle. But in recent days, it became clear how beloved and respected he was amongst his family, friends, and coworkers. Dad, you are the best of us, and we will miss you for the rest of our lives.
preghiamo. Let us pray. Our brother Giuseppe has gone to his rest in the peace of Christ. May the Lord now welcome him to the table of God's children in heaven. With faith and hope in eternal life, let us assist him with our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord also for ourselves. May we who mourn be reunited one day with our brother. Together, may we meet Christ Jesus when he who is our life appears in glory. We read in scripture, then the king will say to the, those at the, his right hand, Come you that are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. In sure and certain hope of the resurrection to life through our Lord Jesus Christ, we commend to Almighty God our brother Giuseppe and we commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. The Lord bless him and keep him. The Lord make his face to shine upon him and be gracious to him. The Lord lift up his countenance upon him and give him peace. Dear brothers and sisters, in reverence, let us pray to God, the source of all mercies. And our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious Lord, forgive the sins of those who have died in Christ, especially Giuseppe. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Remember all the good they have done, we pray to the Lord. Welcome him into eternal life, we pray to the Lord. Let us pray for those who mourn, comfort them in their grief, we pray to the Lord. Let us pray also for ourselves on our pilgrimage through life. Keep us faithful in your service, we pray to the Lord. Kindle in our hearts a longing for heaven, we pray to the Lord. We longing for the coming of God's kingdom, let us pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Ave Maria, piena di grazia, il Signore è con te. Tu sei benedetta fra le donne, benedetto il frutto del tuo seno Gesù. Santa Maria, Madre di Dio, prega per noi peccatori, adesso e nell'ora della nostra morte. Amen. Loving God, from whom all life proceeds, and by whose hand the dead are raised again, Though we are sinners, you wish always to hear us. Accept the prayers we offer for your servant, Giuseppe. Deliver his soul from death. Number him among your saints and clothe him with a robe of salvation to enjoy forever the delights of your kingdom through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bow your heads and pray to God. Merciful Lord, you know the anguish of the sorrowful. You are attentive to the prayers of the humble. Hear your people who cry out to you in their need and strengthen their hope in your lasting goodness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Eterno riposo, dono lo Signore, splenda adesso la luce perpetua, riposo in pace. Amen. Eterno riposo, dono loro, Signore, Splendid is la luce perpetua, repulsion in pace. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen. May his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. The blessing of the Lord. The Lord be with you. 
May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. O oh God, by whose mercy the faithful departed find rest, bless this grave. And send your holy angel to watch over it. As we bury here the body of our brother Giuseppe, deliver his soul from every bond of sin, that he may rejoice in you with your saints forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.